Uh, hello children, I hope you are doing well at home. I'm teacher Samuel Ewalu, I'm your math teacher. And I'm going to teach you P3 Mathematics. Uh, last time in our very first lesson, we were looking at counting, counting, counting in thousand, counting in thousands from from two thousand to three thousand. Last time in our first lesson, we learned how to count from what. From 2,000 to 3,000. And I remember I gave you some work, and I want us to begin from that work. In the activity I gave you, I wanted you to complete these numbers. I wanted you to complete writing. The, this, the num there was a number here, and then I wanted you to write it in words. Okay? So I want us to make those corrections. I want us to make those corrections before we move to today's lesson. So I remember you. I left you with this number here, 2,500. So how do you write this number? In words. So this is going to be 2,000, 2,000, what? 2,500 Okay? I hope you got that So if you got that, give yourself a nice tick Okay? Then I also left you with a number This one, 2,700 I want you to write it for me in words So how did you write it? This is 2 Thousand, two thousand, seven, seven hundred, seven hundred. So if you wrote it like that with correct spelling, you give yourself a tick. Then another number was two thousand eight hundred ten. Two thousand. 810. How do you write it in words? So this is 2,000, 2,810. Did you write it like that? Very good. If you wrote it like that, you also give yourself a tick, a correct tick. Then I, I also gave you to fill for me another number and it was 2,900. So how did you write it? In, how did you write this number in words? So this is 2,000, 2,900. 900. So if you also got that, take note of the spellings. You also give yourself a tick. Okay? Then there was another number. Another number. The number that I wanted you to write in words was 2910. You remember? Okay, how did you write it in words? So this is 2. Thousand, two thousand nine hundred nine hundred ten. Okay. Then I also gave you a number, another number. Another number was two thousand nine hundred ninety. You remember that? So how would you write that number in words? So this is 2,000, 2,900, 
So that was another number. Then I also gave you to write another number, which is 2,999. Okay? So this is 2,999. Then the last one, if you also got this, keep giving yourself ticks, a correct tick. And then I also told you to write for me this number in words. So this number in words is 3,000. And then that was number one. Then we moved, moved on to number two. The following, show the what? The following on the abacus, on the abacus. So part A, which number were you supposed to show on the abacus? You're supposed to show 2050, okay? So you're going to draw your abacus, one, two, three, four. Okay, so this is your abacus. It has place values from ones, tens, hundreds, thousands. Okay, so this first number zero is under ones. So we shall not draw any ball there. Here in the next one, five is under tens. So we shall draw one, two, three. Four, five balls. Here in the next place value hundreds, we shall not draw any ball. There is nothing. In the thousands place value, there is two. So we shall only draw one, two balls. But I want you to take note of this. When you are asked to draw an abacus, when you are not drawing your beads, remember not to leave spaces. If you draw like this, this is wrong. These beads sit on one another. They are packed. They, are, they sit on one another. So this is the correct way of drawing beads on the up. Backers. Our number three. Before we go to number three, our part B. The number that you're supposed to show on the upper cast was 2000 and 2010. We don't say 2000 and, you will say 2010. So let's draw our abacus. One, two, three, four. Okay. So, in the ones, tens, hundreds, thousands. So, let's represent this number on the abacus. On the ones place value there is nothing, so we shall just put there zero. On the tens place value there is one, so we're going to draw only one bit. On the hundreds place value there is nothing. On the thousands place value there is two, so we're going to draw one, two. So I know you got this, and you also got this. Now number three, number three, and the last number I gave you, it was complete. Complete correctly. Complete correctly. So I had given you one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I've given you ten hundreds. And remember in our upper class, ten hundreds give us what? One thousand. Ten hundreds give us one thousand. Okay? Then I'll also give you another one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. How many hundreds are those? That is another set of ten hundreds. Another set of ten hundreds giving us. 1,000. 
Then I also gave you another set of ten hundreds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So these are ten hundreds. Ten hundreds give us what? Give us another one thousand. Now in part A, in part, part A they are given you dash hundreds. Dash hundreds equals to dash. And in part B, dash thousands. Dash thousands equals to dash. So what did you fill in? Looking at this, what look at looking at these are hundreds. So considering hundreds, how many hundreds are these? These are ten hundreds. This is another ten hundreds. This is another ten hundreds. So ten plus ten, twenty plus ten, thirty. So there are thirty hundreds giving us three thousand. Is that what you filled in? Then when you are talking in when you are talking in terms of thousands, how many thousands do you see here? One, two, three. So there are three thousands that give you three thousand. So dear children, this is the work that I gave you last time to do, and I hope you have made your corrections. And let's now move on to the next lesson. Okay, now after having done the corrections of the first lesson. Our lesson, our second lesson today, we are going to learn how we are going to learn about place values of four digit numbers. Those are thousands, okay? Now I want you to remember this first. Remember, remember this. Okay? I want you to remember now number one. This sign, who can tell me what this sign? I know you have ever seen this sign. What does this sign stand for? So this sign stands for thousands. This sign stands for thousands. And this sign, H, capital H, what does it stand for? It stands for hundreds. It stands for hundreds. What about this one? T. Capital T. Capital T stands for tens. It stands for tens. And then for O. Capital O stands for ones. Capital O stands for ones. Okay? Okay. Now, I want you to remember this as well that what are place values? Let's first define what place values are. So place values, place values are the names, are the names of digits arranged, arranged in order, in order of in order of ones tens hundreds thousands okay thousands so today we are going to learn how to write place values of numbers okay four digit numbers so first we have seen what this short form stands for and we have seen that TH stands for thousands, H stands for hundreds, T stands for tens, capital O stands for ones and we have also described what place values are. Place values are names of digits arranged in the order of ones, tens, hundreds, thousands and many others. All together. Now, what you should also know that place values can also be 
place values can also be represented represented on the abacus okay i know you know what an abacus is and you have always seen that an abacus also has got place values let me draw for you an example of an abacus here one two three four okay this is an abacus and when you look at an abacus it also has place value that is ones tens hundreds thousands are you seeing for example let's just give an example of a number that can be represented on the abacus let's represent um let's have here three let's have here four and let's have here seven and here zero so how would you how many balls are you going to draw on a one's place value they are one two three how many are you going to draw here one two three four here you will not draw anything you will not draw any bits okay so here we shall draw one two three four five six seven so how does this abacus come to work how do you come to know how do you come to arrange remember in our first lesson we learned about the 10 ones giving us one ten. let's demonstrate it here on our abacus okay children you remember in our first lesson we counted from 2003 thousand using the abacus and also when you're counting using the abacus we count starting from ones you can see the abacus here is named from ones tens hundreds thousands just as the one you have drawn on the chalkboard okay now i want you to remember that ten ones when you have ten bits of under ones all these tens are counted as one ten okay so if you have one one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So these are ten ones. These ten ones, the whole of these ten ones is represented as only one ten. In the first lesson, we learned about it. So all these ten ones become one ten. So then you remove all this, okay? You remove all this. So you see, now we have nothing in the ones place value because these ten, ten ones have become one in when you regroup them in the, in the next place value of tens. So ten ones give us one ten. Then again, if you have an Ten, another set of ten ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So these are ten tens. Ten tens in the groups of hundreds, in the next place value of hundreds. This ten tens is one hundred. So all these tens become 100 on the next place value so here we shall now have nothing here left okay we shall have what nothing left here so all the 10 tens that were here have been moved into the next place value of 100 as 100 so this is one there is zero here there is zero here so 10 10 tens give us 100. Then again, if you have 10 hundreds, let's have another set of 10 hundreds. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. You see? So 10 hundreds are the ones that give us. 1000 so when you remove all these tens and transfer when you want to transfer them on a on a thousand place value you transfer them as one okay so that is now what 
that is 1000. So you remove all these tens. All these tens here have become 1000. So, so that the, the tens that were here, 10 hundreds, the 10 hundreds that were here have become 1000. So there is one here, 0, 0, 0, this is 1000. So we have seen that place values also work in an abacus. Now let's go back to our lesson. Let's now write. I want us to write in the, the place values, okay? Write, write the place values of each digit, of each digit in, in the following, in the following. So our number one, I want us to write the place values, children, I want us to write the place values of the following numbers. The first number is 42. How do you write the place value? The place value of each digit. So remember this digit is under ones then 10. So let's write the place, place value of 2. What is the place value of 2 is ones. What is the place value of 4? The place value of 4 is 10s. Are we together? In our example 2, I want us to write the place value of each digit in the number 415. 415. So remember the very first one on the right hand side is under 1s, followed by 10s, followed by 100s. So we are going to write the place values of each digit okay so you're going to draw your lines to represent each digit so this five is under ones all together this tens is under this one is under tens this four is under hundreds all together now what you need to note place values are plurals or oh, place values end with s if you write there one this is wrong there is no place value called one there is no place value called ten there is no place value called hundred okay these are wrong this is wrong place values end with s let's look at the, the, the third example and our third example is 1,273. I want us to write the place value of each digit in this number, 1,273. So we say the very first one on the right hand side, this, this digit is under ones, tens, hundreds, thousands. Okay? So this three is under ones. This seven is under tens. This two is under uh, hundreds and this one is under is under thousands. So let's write them now. So this is ones, tens, hundreds, thousands. Thou, thousands. Are we together? So, dear children, I want to give you an activity on how to write place values of digits. Okay? Okay, uh, in our activity, I want, in number one, I, we are going to write the place values of each digit in part A, 34. So we're going to write the place value of each of the, the digits here in part A, 34, part B, 205, part C, 2,457, part D, 4,021. Then number two, write the number shown on the upper cast below. So the numbers are here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 1, 2, 3. 
So I want you to write for me these numbers shown on the abacus. In, in Roman 2, here we shall have 1, 2, and then we shall have here 1, 2, 3, 4, here there is nothing, then we shall have here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So I want you to write for me the number shown on each of these abacus. In number 3, I want you to draw an abacus and show the following numbers. Part A, 5,270. So you're going to draw an abacus and you show this number on that abacus. Part B, 4,020. So draw an abacus and show this number on the abacus. So please make sure you do the work. Do the work. In the next lesson, when we, when we, are, when we come for the next lesson, we shall begin by first marking our souls. So please endeavor to do the work and please stay safe and be good. Have a nice time.